Mary Pickford was a Canadian-American actress and film producer whose career spanned five decades. She was a pioneer in the film industry and co-founded Pickford Fairbanks Studios and United Artists, as well as being one of the 36 founders of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Pickford is one of the most recognizable women in history and was dubbed America's sweetheart during the silent film era. She was also one of the earliest stars to be billed under her own name and was one of the most popular actresses of the 1910s and 1920s, earning her the nickname Queen of the Movies. She was awarded the second ever Academy Award for Best Actress for her first sound film role in Coquette. Pickford's career went into decline in the late 1920s, but she received an honorary Academy Award in 1976 in recognition of her contributions to American cinema. Pickford broke many barriers throughout her career and paved the way for future actresses and women in the film industry. Mary Pickford, whose real name was Gladys Louise Smith, was born in Toronto in 1892. She faced several hardships as a child. Her father, John Charles Smith, was an alcoholic and was often unemployed, and the family struggled financially. When Mary was five years old, her parents separated and her mother, Charlotte, moved her and her siblings to New York City to find a better life. But life in New York was difficult, and the family struggled to make ends meet. Mary had to start working at a young age to help support the family, finding employment as a child actress in theater and in silent films. After touring the United States with her family in third-rate theater companies for several years, Pickford landed a role in the Broadway play the Warrens of Virginia in 1907. It was here that she was given the stage name Mary Pickford by the play's producer, David Belasco. After a successful run on Broadway, Pickford struggled to find work and was eventually discovered by famed director D.W. Griffith of the Biograph Company. Pickford quickly gained popularity at Biograph, appearing in 51 films in 1909 alone. She became known as the Girl with the Golden Curls and Blondie Locks to her fans. In 1910, Pickford moved to Los Angeles with the Biograph crew, where she continued to make films. Some of her best performances were in Griffith's films Friends, The Mender of Nets, Just Like a Woman, and The Female of the Species. In 1913, Pickford decided to work exclusively in film and joined Adolf Zucker's Famous Players in Famous Plays, which would later become Paramount Pictures. Pickford's career took off in the 1910s. She became one of the first actresses to achieve widespread fame and success in Hollywood. She was known for her versatility, playing a range of roles including mothers, ingenues, charwomen, and more. Pickford starred in the film Pollyanna, it was a massive success and solidified her status as a top actress. Over the next few years, she appeared in a string of successful films, including Poor Little Pepina, Little Lord Fauntleroy, and The Poor Little Rich Girl. In 1919, Pickford co-founded United Artists with Charlie Chaplin, D.W. Griffith, and Douglas Fairbanks, and continued to act in and produce films under the studio. In addition to her acting career, Pickford was a pioneer in the film industry. She was one of the first actresses to demand and receive a high salary for her work, and was known for her shrewd business sense. She was also a vocal advocate for the rights of actors, and helped to establish the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which presents the annual Academy Awards. Pickford retired from acting in 1933, but remained active in the film industry until her death in 1979. Mary Pickford was married three times. Her first marriage was to Owen Moore, an Irish-born silent film actor, 
in 1911. The marriage was strained by Moore's alcoholism and insecurity, and the couple lived together on and off for several years. Pickford later became secretly involved with Douglas Fairbanks and divorced Moore in 1920. She and Fairbanks were married just days later in what was referred to as the marriage of the century. They were a high-profile couple in Hollywood and were often referred to as Hollywood royalty. Pickford and Fairbanks hosted many celebrity events at their mansion Pickfair and welcomed guests such as Charlie Chaplin, George Bernard Shaw, and Albert Einstein. However, the public nature of their marriage strained it and they separated in the early 1930s. Pickford divorced Fairbanks in 1936 and married her third and final husband, actor and band leader Charles Buddy Rogers in 1937. They adopted two children. After her retirement from acting, Mary Pickford struggled with alcoholism and depression. She had a tumultuous relationship with her adopted children and became a recluse, only allowing visits from a select few individuals such as Lillian Gish and her stepson Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Pickford published several books, including her memoirs and a novel. In the mid-1960s, she received visitors only by telephone and her husband gave tours of their mansion. Pickford received her Honorary Academy Award in 1976 and continued to hold charitable events at Pickfair, including a Christmas party for blind war veterans. She died in 1979 of complications from a cerebral hemorrhage and was buried in a cemetery in Glendale, California. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching the History Stop, and we'll see you next time.